Welcome to Speedify. In this video, we're gonna do a brief overview of the Speedify user interface. Let's get right to it. Here's the Speedify UI. At the very top is the Speedify menu bar. So there's a link here to the main settings menu, as well as a toggle over here, which will allow you to turn Speedify on. Below that is the status bar. This will let you know exactly what Speedify is doing. Right now it's connected, and this is the server we're connected to, United States, New York City, as well as how long you've been connected. Below that are the real-time graphs. There's a number of graphs here, usage, latency, loss, and bypass, as well as if you have active parent share connections, there'll be another one there called shared that'll let you know if you're you're sharing any traffic to other devices. Below that is a list of your active connections, and there's a couple data points on each one of these. The name, the MOS score, the current priority, real-time stats which correspond to whatever graph you're looking at. Below that is a section for parent share. If you are paired with any devices, they'll show up here. You'll be able to click on them and edit any settings, as well as if you've detected any new devices, they'll show up and you can tap on them to actually request a pair. Below that is a section for real-time streams. This is streaming traffic that Speedify has identified and is attempting to prioritize over other traffic. And then below that is a section for bypass suggestions. Certain services might restrict VPN traffic. Speedify has a function built in where you can actually allow that traffic to go around the VPN tunnel. Last but not least, there's a section here for statistics. It shows you a bunch of cool stats, upload download speeds, how much data you've sent, as well as how many times Speedify has stepped in to either do failover or save streams by sort of switching between connections. So that's really the dashboard. A lot of these sections can be toggled on and off in your preferences. They also sort of serve as shortcuts, and most of these can also be found inside of the main settings menu. Thanks for watching. We've got plenty more video content on our YouTube channel, as well as the Speedify knowledge base. And if you need additional help, be sure to reach out to the Speedify support team.